welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then hi, my name is Rachel. I'm here to help you navigate the world of finance and accounting with ease. And today we're going to be spending some time talking about essential reports in Xero that can really, really help you improve your financial confidence. And the report that we're looking at today is the aged payables report. So first up, what even is an aged payables report? This report shows you how much money you owe to your suppliers and how long these amounts have been outstanding. So this report is literally key for managing your cash flow and ensuring you are up to date on your bills. So today I'm gonna to walk and talk you through the report, where to find it in Xero, how to use it as a small business, and how you can use it to increase your financial well-being and maintain a great relationship with your suppliers. So let's get stuck in to Xero. So to find this report in Xero, we are going to go to the accounting tab. And if you've watched any of my tutorials before, I've got lots of content available on how to understand the Xero dashboard, how to learn lots of content on Xero in less than 30 minutes, and how to cover Xero in 2024, which I'll link up here. But if you've heard me do any of those tutorials before, you'll know that the best way to understand how to find things in Xero is that the dashboard is your safe place, that's your homepage. The business is the section that we use to run the day-to-day -day of our business and the accounting tab is where we go to to run our accounting function. So it won't surprise you that in order to find age payables, we're going to use the accounting tab. Now, you can select and star reports in Xero, and when you start reports, they actually appear here on your short, like quick tick reporting dashboard, but I'm gonna show you how to get it. You can see that I've already added age payables to my short list, but I'll show you how to get it if it's not there for you already. So we've gone to accounting, we've gone to reporting, and age payables and receivables have their own section. So if I wanted to add age payables onto my um, short list, I would just tick the star here to make sure it appears there. Now, this is our age payables, and it's important to say that we can go back to certain points in time, but I would recommend running this report on today's date or up to the end of the month. So you want to be looking at it at today's date or in advance rather than retrospectively looking at it in order to get the most out of the report. So what we can see here is a list of people that we owe money to, and then we can see that broken down by how long it's been since we've owed them money. So under one month is usually fine according to the payment terms, as long as the payment terms are 30 days or less, but these are all current debts that we owe. And so you can see here that as well as helping you to keep track of your outstanding bills, it's also ensuring that you're not missing any payments. And so staying on top of your age payables can help you to do things like avoiding late payment fees, keep really good relationships with your suppliers and better manage your cash flow. And so it's actually the ones that are one month, two month, three month and older that we're gonna be paying a lot of attention to. And so here are my top four ways that you can use this age payables report in zero to manage your business better. It won't surprise you that the first thing that we're gonna look at is working out how to prioritize payments. So what we want to be doing here is regularly checking the one month and older column to help you to prioritize which bills should be paid urgently. And this can really help you to avoid those late fees and keep your suppliers happy. The next thing that we're gonna do is some cash flow management. So I want you to use this report to forecast and anticipate your future outgoing payments. Knowing when your bills are due can really help you to plan your expenses and ensure you've got enough cash on hand to cover your future obligations. The third thing that we're gonna do do to use this report to better run your small business is to actually negotiate better terms. So if you notice on here that certain supplier payment terms are consistently causing you issues, aka they're not long enough, consider negotiating better terms with them. Maybe you could negotiate better payment periods or you could actually negotiate discounts for early payments. And the fourth thing that we're gonna to do to use this report to improve the way we run our business is actually to identify spending patterns. So by looking at this report regularly, you can actually identify patterns in your spending and this can help you to find the areas in your business where you might be able to cut costs or even negotiate better deals. So there you have it. The age payables report in Xero is an invaluable tool to help you to stay on top of your business expenses and maintain a really healthy cash flow as well as a healthy business. Regularly reviewing this report can really help you to make a difference in how you manage your finances and how you feel about your finances. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So subscribing is the very best way to support me as a creator. So thank you 
so much for watching this video today and I hope to see you again very soon.